Welcome back to our show, Artists and Authors, COVID edition. I'm going to take my mask off because I've separated over about six or seven feet from my guest. Uh, my guest, our first guest is Carol Love Forbes, right? And everything's a little backwards because she's usually in this chair and interviewing guests in that chair. She's interviewed <laughs> me before, in fact. And Carol, welcome to your show. Thank you so much. This and is fun. We're going to talk in a minute. you got some books that are getting republished and oh, stuff. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I now have a real publisher, Westwood Publishing, and they're doing all of my books. And we're going to go deep into that in a minute. But first, let's talk about Carol. Sometimes I do what I call myth building. I don't know if I'm making up stories or not. <laughs> but I, I tell people you are an artist an author and a musician which is the theme of this show mm -hmm. so nobody's more qualified to be the host than you <laughs> and uh but i want to start broadway you were you know you prepared your life to be a broadway star is that right yes i did but uh i got uh, into two broadway shows the touring the first touring that goes out is the broadway tour yeah so i did was so that's like the test market for a show hmm? is that like a test market for the show they they tour it first and I don't know what no they tour it afterwards oh, okay okay so I guess the figure if you if you can't come to Broadway and see it we'll take it to you <laughs> I go to Fresno uh, Celand Arena and see a lot of the touring shows Hamilton oh. was supposed to be here you know oh because of great. COVID they canceled it but I see a lot of oh. those so and which roles did you get to play oh uh, in, in cabaret what was I I can't remember. But you sang and danced? And yeah, sang and danced. And, wow. Uh, and, but in uh, cab the other one, um, the funny girl one. Funny girl, yeah. I, I played Mrs. Strakosh. Uh, but I, I had to do that when somebody was the doing this. You're like the understudy? I was, I was the understudy yeah. for that. And I, I had a great fun. It was a great part. Is that the story of Fanny Bryce? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fanny yeah. Bryce. That's amazing story, an amazing show, which I've never seen because we don't see it come through very often. Yeah, that's too bad Funny because girl, yeah. it's a good show. Yeah. And then you uh, were a singer. You are a singer. You sang here uh, the other day. So. Still sing. <laughs> hey, by the way, uh, I'm going to go into your other books later, but you said you're doing a book on four singers. Yes, I, well, it's already done. Mm -hmm. It's called If You Feel Like Singing, Sing, and it's for potential people that just think, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start singing. It's really good to have something to tell you exactly what to do. Like, you've got to be careful of who you get as a teacher, mm -hmm. things like that. So this little book just gives you lots of information. Well, a lot of people think that they uh, can sing. Everybody thinks they can sing. You just open your mouth and do it. And I always <laughs> just say things like this, like, Frank Sinatra made everybody think that they could sing because he does it so easy, makes yeah, it look so easy. Yeah. But really, if you want to be a professional at your craft, it's not. You study, you practice, you rehearse, and you develop technique, right? Yes, yeah, definitely. And definitely. your book kind of covers that? That covers all. It calls it uh, with the teachers and the method of how to breathing because it's a really good breathing method. Right. And uh, then it tells you a little bit what if you get into business, what, how do you behave, you know, right. stuff, like, stuff like that. The business part of it yeah. is very important. And yes. what Carol and I talk about all the time is showing up on time. Um, I was a professional musician for 15 years. I was never late one single time. There's no auto accident, no train getting stopping me or flat time. Nothing stopped me from being there on time. Well, that's what's so important in show business. Boy, if you're not on time, they're just going to fire you and get somebody else. Yeah. And, you know, there's a lot of people out there that want jobs. Well, it'd be so. worse to get the reputation as a person who showed up late. So. Yeah, yeah, that's really bad. Now, I would say that a person is lucky to be able to even hit a note, you know, let alone being able to develop a skill and a craft and uh, build a profession. So mm -hmm. um, it, it's not just as easy as standing up and singing. There's all those things that go into it. No, it's a, even when I'm teaching, it's hard to make people stay with the breathing for a long time because it's a muscle thing right. and you've got to build it up. And everybody wants to go real fast and see the fat. And not, no, you got to go, boy. You got to learn the uh, how to sing, how the what to sing with open vowels and things like that. You know, it really take, it's a lot of work. We have singers on here all the time, and I have I can't sing a good pitch, but I can sure hear one. And I always want to tell the people who are singing like this, 
sit up. Yeah, sit up sit do up. it from here. Do it from here. You know, and I, they could maybe just bring that note up just a little into pitch. So, mm -hmm. um, but the technique is important. I talked about this a little on other shows this week. I, there's a great book by a guy named Malcolm Gladwell. It's called Outliers, mm. and he says the way to become an expert at anything is to have ten thousand hours of experience. <laughs> and I had 10,000 sure. hours of playing guitar. I did it. Yes. And I got really good at it. But any of you who thinks that they're in a week or two weeks they're going to be the expert, it's those hours and hours and hours. Oh, that really is the first thing with, with singers. They expect to be really singing beautifully in about a week or two, yeah. you know. <laughs> it do work that way. We all have to work at it. So um, somewhere along the line you derailed and went into the Air Force? Yes, I did. Not derailed. It's a good, good thing to have done. I it think. turned out all right. My girlfriend and I just were silly, and we both joined. And her mother didn't sign for her, so I went in by myself. And it wasn't fun to go. <laughs> Not fun to go by yourself. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> How long did you do that? Oh, uh, I just uh, they they stick you on this old train, it's chugga to chugga chugga, to get you to uh, where to, I think Washington. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now it's some, oh, I first knew you through your art or your author, authorship. I don't remember which came first, but I love your art, if I've never told you that. And we'll have to show that another time, because dummy, I didn't get it. Didn't, I didn't, didn't get any, any pictures. Didn't bring any art with you, but uh, she's on every week here, so I think we've got a chance. We'll There's some it. of your art right there. I don't know, or is that the, that's the book, that's the book, okay. Let's, Let's talk yeah. about the books. Your books have been around a while. They've been evolving, and you've added to the series. Start from the beginning of mm -hmm. the series. Okay, uh, I had to, well, because I had a dream that I was supposed to help a certain place. And I thought, well, how can I get money to do this? You know, I said, well, maybe I'll write a book, and then they can have the book and get the money out of it, you know? Uh -huh. So that's how I started. And uh, it's really weird because it was like I was not really doing the job where somebody was there helping me Maybe or something. channeling it somehow. Yes, because it, it was so easy. Hmm. It was just boom, 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 you know. I said, wow. Yeah. And I come to, I decided, oh, you know, I said, I got one book. And I said, but I got one book? I wasn't nearly the tate I wanted to get up to, you know. That was the Revolutionary War. Right. So I had another book. And then another book, and another book. <laughs> wow. So, but it's a beautiful chant, and I, I have beautiful covers on them, and uh, they're really good books. And now there's a new publisher. Is that yes. right? And they're going to take them over and maybe help get them yes, out there? Yes, uh, that's uh, Westwood Pet Publishing, and they're going to do all of my all of my books, mm -hmm. uh, the children's books, and I'm doing a new children book yeah. uh, on giraffes. On giraffes, that's right, <laughs> that's right. So, well, I've said many time around Central Valley Talk, anybody could write a book, but very few can finish writing a book. Did you find it easy to finish, to get to the end? Yes. Wow, Yes. That's amazing. Uh, because there's there's two heroines, and we're carry, carrying both of them down through, and they had to get them together at the end, you mm -hmm. know, so. It took thinking. I didn't really do it without any thinking. Uh, it took a lot of uh, all of the uh, history stuff. I really had to find out that it actually, research actual history. It had to yeah. be right. All all of yeah. us right. To, uh, what happened? Um, now, uh, where can people find these books? Are they out yet? The new publications are they out yet? Well, um, no. They have. I just got with Westwood, okay. so uh, they're just. Uh, they're just getting one and two Getty right now, so it's going to be a little time before all four of them. Mm -hmm. But um, I think it's really wonderful that they want to do all the books. Okay. Yeah, it's great. Um, and I have a new book that I found. It's not a, an old book that I wrote a long time ago. It's called A, a Bartender's Holiday. Holiday. I'll be darned. And I read through it again. I said, this is a good book. Good book, huh? Yeah, so they're going to do that. You just find them in the too. back of the closet or something? And yeah, yeah, yeah I don't out. know where I found finish. it. I just found it. As, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. Well, we've been noticing the arts have slowed down. Uh, there's no art hop, right? There's no place to go for art anymore. Right. Just during COVID. Yeah. But we have a place, Central Valley Top. We could call this like the virtual art hop. People could see art here on our show. That's right. On the Artist and Author Show. And if you're an artist, um, you can still show your come art on, come right on. here on this show. What are you looking for? What am I looking for? for art. Artist. 
You told me once to even bring, bring people to do fingernails or, you know, that's all. Fingernails? Yeah, paint the nails. Oh, I don't remember that one. Yeah. No, I've got uh, an awful lot of stuff about animals. I'm an animal painter. But I, I mean, do for some our, people. the guests you're looking for, you're looking for anybody who does any kind of art. Oh, yes, I'm looking at anything, in fact, anything in the, heart, the arts. And a lot of things that are done aren't considered arts, but actually are. Yeah. You know, like people that do fingernails and put all those fancy stuff. Yeah. That's an art. That's an art. That's yeah. an art. So many of things that just aren't labeled as art. I think we've really even had a tattoo guy on here. Yes. <laughs> that's <laughs> art. I don't want that art on me, and I don't want to do that art. But you look at it sometimes, it's so beautiful. So yeah. I don't know how they do that. So yeah. if you have any kind of art, Carol wants you on your show. So Art Hop isn't over. It's on right here on Central Valley Talk every day. Yeah, Thursday. even if you just put frosting on a cake or oh, something yeah. beautiful. It's beautiful. That's an art, too. Yeah. There's so many things. And lots of times people just don't have enough confidence in themselves. And I told you, please, don't worry about it. We're friends here. Yeah. And we're, you know, we just chat, chat. We don't, there's nothing's fancy. So don't be afraid of it. Come on in and uh, it'll be fun. Yeah, if you're an artist, the best place to break into being on TV is right here with Carol because mm -hmm. she's very nice and she's been through it all. Anything <laughs> you're going to go through, she's already been through it. Yeah. Now, uh, one thing we've discovered is that uh, uh, we like to have our guests here in the studio, mm -hmm. but now guests can't come in. So we've been talking to people in different places I know. about their books. And I stuff. think that's wonderful. So we're very international now. Yes, I love that. I just really think it's okay. wonderful. Um, okay, we're running out of time. We're getting this thing. Well, what else do you want to talk about you? Oh, nothing except that I'm I'm very happy. I'm doing lots of art, and I've got a precious little dog, so I'm very happy. Very happy, and you adopted a daughter somehow? Yes, I adopted a daughter. I had a girlfriend years ago that were real close, and we were we roamed together for a while, but we we're very close. Then we toured on uh, with Pro Bailey, so we had a lot of fun with that. But she had the had the daughter. She had the baby and everything. But uh, when she passed away from cancer, she told her daughter that I was her next mother. Wow! Was, so uh, I now have a daughter. What very do you know? cool. Very cool. Now you could talk to Carol. I could talk to her for hours, and I think I know everything about her. And we just saw this thing happen like two seconds ago, when she just drops it. Oh yeah, we were touring with Pearl Bailey. Mm -hmm. You never told us that story. Tell us I a little. I didn't. No, oh, tell us a little bit about that. That was my first professional show, because uh, when when uh, Everdeen was going, I said, if if somebody box out that there's something, tell, remember me. And she says, Oh, do you want to be in the show? And I said, Of course I do. She says, Okay, you're in. You're in. <laughs> and Carol said, Okay. Uh, um, Pearl. Pearl said, Okay. Wow. Where did you tour? Oh, all over the country. So is it one night, then you pick up and go to the next town? N yeah, but it's not one night. It's, you know, so several number of nights. And there we went into Canada. And we went uh, into all the big cities in, the, in our country. It was really fun. See, most of us have never got to tour at anything. So you've got to <laughs> go on several tours. And yeah, several tours. Performing tours. Yeah. Very good, very good. And during the day... Instead of going out and laughing and having drinks like most of the guys, I just went to the library or the uh, some place where I could see, you know, learn something. Drinking a little of the local so culture. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was really nice for me. Very good, very good. Well, it's Carol Love Forbes. She's here every Thursday hosting this show, and she's an artist. And we didn't get to look at her art today, but a lot of animal art, mm -hmm. and it's just beautiful what you've done. Yeah, I like to I like to show it. I'll bring them, I'll get them, send you all in. We'll do a whole other interview with her just on her art. But her books are taken off. New publisher Westwood Publishing. Westwood Plus Publishing, and they're good books. They're they're very. You, you want to read the whole four four of them. Yeah, there's one of them. Then this is her uh, kids book. And that's the yeah. It's Allie's turn. Something about an owl. About little owls. Uh huh. A little owl. And but Carol's mission right now. And her passion is helping young artists get exposed. So come on the show here and get exposed. Yes, definitely. Please do. That's it's so much fun for me to talk to people that have a creative nature. It's great. Come on in. All righty. Uh, we will be back. Uh, I'm going to leave, and Carol's going to take over the show because it's her show, for goodness sake. <laughs> Bernard Gagliardi. We'll see if she can say it better than I can. Uh, he'll be here in just a couple of minutes, so don't touch that mouse. 
Don't change the channel. We'll be right back. Mm-hmm. <laughs>